What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video, we're going to be doing gameplay with what is one of the most underhyped, just god-tier players in this new set. It's Clyde Drexler Galaxy Opal, lads. Can I... Did I just get him for discard value? No way. I literally... He discards for 5,000. I literally, literally... He's free. He's free. He's literally free. He's free. You want for 5k, you can use him and you can sell him. You can use him and sell him. And my god, this challenge. This challenge is taking, like, oh my god. It is taking years off my life, just this one challenge. Let's just chuck him in. Let's just chuck him in here. Clyde the Glide Drexler. And I'm telling you guys, this guy right here, for 5,000 MT, 5k. Literally 5k is one of the best two guards in the game on next gen. He is insanely good. He's good on current gen. He's really good on current gen. He's one of the best in the game on next gen. Like he can, he's in my squad. There's no There's no ifs or what's about it. Like my squad's changing. Like it's straight up. My squad is changing. Larry's gonna lose his spot. Oh, it's a tough one. Like Kevin Porter Jr. has definitely lost his spot to Alan Houston. I don't know what way I'm gonna have to work this. I don't know what way I'm gonna have to work my team now. Because no one else can play point guard on my team. We don't have that many great guys who can play the point guard position. I mean, I could go with this lineup. This lineup works, I guess. Um, there. Then maybe, oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to come in for Cliff Robinson or if he's going to come in for Alan Houston. Last question. It's between two of those three I've been in my main squad. McLean Drexler, six foot seven, 44 Hall of Fame badges, post spin technician, chase down artist clamps, poster eyes here, trapper, back down puncher, circus threes, deep threes, slash range extender, Hall of Fame, handles for days, unblockable, 16 golds as well. He's got 92 three ball, 96 mid range, 98 driving dunk. He's also got 90 ball handle, 94 steel, 94 perimeter defense, decent block, not great rebounding, but that doesn't matter. Superb speed and great lateral quickness as well. And again, we saw him. He is 5,000 MT. He is literally a discard value player, which is crazy. If you guys don't know about Clyde, you if you're on next gen, you will know about base five. You will soon learn about base five. Dean Wade, um, Bob McAdoo. Johnny, Dean Wade, Bob McAdoo, Kendrick Nunn. I'm not sure who else has it. I'm very quick. But it is, in my opinion, the the easiest release to green, in my opinion, in this game. Especially off the catch. Off the catch? Oh, it is ridiculous. Like, I know I'm struggling right here, but that is just, again, because I'm so used to shooting with golds. I've been shooting with goals with their release timing on normal for the last like hour. So that is hence why I am really, really struggling to shoot the ball with Clyde Drexler. But I'm telling you, he is. He's just going to be a ridiculous shooter. Not only that, like shooting is not even his best asset. Like he's got, he's got Clyde dunk animations, which are incredible. Every year Clyde Drexler gets some of the best dunk animations. As this is an end game level two guard, like if this guy's your two guard at the very end of the year, you're fine. He's got a really nice player build. And again, there's just... Again, he's a perfect card. He's a perfect card. He's flawless. There is no, There are no flaws to this card. There are actually no flaws to him. He does everything perfectly. If you don't like his release on current gen, then fair enough. But like, again, he's a flawless, perfect card for 5,000 MT. He's just ridiculous. Some of the stuff that this guy is doing... Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous, lads. Easily. Easily the best 5,000 MT card in the game. If you are on, especially if you are on next gen. Especially if you are on next gen. So now it's Grimm on three. And I'm going to see what other players are 5k MT before we get onto the gameplay. Like, what are the guys you can get for that range? Like, recent pink diamonds, yeah, maybe you get them. But, like, let's just say... Minimum four or five hundred, maximum five K. And let's see what we can get for in that price range. You're looking at freaking Kleba. Um JaVale McGee, Ruby Kobe. 
Are any of these guys good? Or, hey, Toppin's good. Are any of these guys comparable? Saying good is wrong because Toppin is very good. I don't think so. I think there's a lot of mediocre cards here. There's a lot of buying average cards here. But, like, the fact that the start of this season, dime, the first packs of this season were the first time diamonds were the lowest tier in packs. And we've already gone within four weeks. We've gone from diamonds to opals being the lowest tier in packs, which is absolutely nuts. But, uh, yeah, we green to three anyway, so now we can go on to a game. I'm still kind of shook that we lost our last game, despite winning our last game, which was very, very annoying. And if you don't know what that means, it means I won the game, but for some reason it said I lost. Uh, so let's just go Diamond Contract Crew. And screw it, you work. You work. For defense, I've realized Bowl Bowl does not actually play any defense in this game. So if, if somebody matches, if someone comes up and knows how to abuse Bowl Bowl, GG's. It is GG's. I stand no chance. But we do have a base 5 demon right here. We do have an absolute base 5 demon. Okay, so. Why is he why is he moving forward on defense? I don't I What's he doing running so far forward? Left corner, green that. That's a good white, I guess. He gets slasher takeover, which is, a which is not great, but you know what? It's better than like glass take, which a lot of players have. It's fine. We can let him. We can let him shoot because he he doesn't shoot, release the ball quickly. He's literally like just another Amari Stadamar. That's fine. Midi, give me that. Come on. I can take that shot. Like, I know most people aren't going to take the midi. I'm not most people. I'll take that shot. If you give me it, I'll take it. Just get a ghost. Get a ghost. Get a ghost. Good defense. Big board. Yeah, let's go. We're good. We're good. Drop back. There we go. It's oh, a good, good shot. Good shot right there by him. He's obviously playing a lot of... With the way he's moving so far forward, he obviously plays a lot of offline. That shouldn't... That should have been a better shot by me. I should have greened that. That's my fault there. As you can tell, if you're playing that aggressively on defense, you play a lot of online. Like normally, you're meant to pull up at least a little bit before the player. Jump. Good ghost. Oh, this game sometimes. This game sometimes. You do everything right, and the game just screws you. Give me that. Give me... At least give me the 35 right back. He had a 35. Let me hit one right back at him. Give me that. Green. Good shot there by Clyde. Let's go. How far is he? I'll take one shot. We're there. Good pass. Oh. He's going to go dot corn. That's fine. He's been dotting corner the whole game, so I'm actually okay with that. Okay, that's a dot. Hit him, green. Big shot there by Clyde. Okay, he's got slasher take now anyway, so if we do go to the basket, we pretty much have it guaranteed. And it does improve our speed a little bit. Good defense. Great defense, Mick. The whole point is just try predict him. Try predict him, and he went at the three. That's way off. Big board. Okay, we're good. Take it to the basket, just jam it on him. Or, get a good contest. I don't really see the purpose of any takeover except for sharp on next gen, really. Like, as in, I do get the purpose of them. Especially for, like, um... If you're doing my player, I really get the purpose of, like, these takeovers. But, if you are playing my team, anything other than sharp takeover is bad. Like, sh takeovers go sharp, the rest. No, shot create is fine, actually. Shot creating takeover is fine. It just really, slash and takeover really does not matter because you can still get all the good slashing animations without slashing takeover. You just maybe get one to two extra contacts. It just doesn't seem to affect much. Maybe I'm wrong. But from my experience, whether it be 5v5, 3v3, anything, it doesn't seem to be much. 
Dot. Chicken. We missed it. We actually missed that. He is one of the best releases in the game. We missed that. Okay, he, at least he missed the wide there. Give me that. Pull up. That's a terrible shot. I didn't even try to quick stop there. I thought I set my feet. I thought I'd give myself enough time. It's great defense. This is the scrappiest game of my team I've ever played. This is the scrappiest game of triple threat I've ever played. Thankfully, we got on green there. Like we shot way too many. Like if we were if we were just greening the shots, we should have been greening with Clyde. Like fair enough if I whited one. I think I've whited three wide opens. Shoot that! I'll give you the mini every time. I don't care. I think I've whited three wide opens, and like one's one's acceptable. One's fine. Whiting two. You know what? That's okay. It's still rather not white two in a game, but whiting three is poor. Oh my god, you can't even make a pass. Why would you why would you throw it a pass like that, Green? He blew it. I don't understand why the game would would make me throw that pass. Is he gonna jump? Yes he is. Green that. That's a that has to be a full. I definitely timed that one right. Oh, this is what happens when you play with golds all day. Your timing's gonna be off. This is the worst I've ever shot with a base five player. And they got the dunk animation. Great. That's fine, though. We're good. Why is he so aggressive on defense? Like, I don't know. I can't explain why he's so aggressive. Dot. Or... Okay, just jam it. Just take the two. Take the easy two at this stage. Although that was a dumb shot to shoot because we've now put the ball in his hands. If he hits a three, it's in his the game's in his court, which means we need to shoot a three. If he hits one, which is very annoying. He has kind of everything in this game. I'll give him the two. I'll gladly give up the two in that situation. It's in our hands now. We can win this game with two twos, no matter what he does, really. Well. If we score we can score a two, and then they have to score a three, and we can for easily force a two. Just jam it on him. Why would you take the layup? Oh, he jumped, he jumped, he jumped under the basket, green. There we go. When it mattered, we were chicken. When it mattered, we hit the shot. Yeah, let's go. Good defense. Chase down. It's fine. We did not mean to do that. Be more aggressive. Come on. You've been pushing up all game. Let's push up. You want to push up? Push up. You should have the dunk here. Or we get that ridiculous contact layup, which I'll take. Oh man, Clyde, I get it, I mistimed a few releases. I definitely missed time more than I should have, but he's so good, man. Like, for me, this Clyde is at, is at that MJ level. He's at that Michael Jordan level. Dana Barros is still on boards? Really? Like, he is at that, like, elite, elite card level, like, with the best of the best of them in this game. He's definitely someone that, uh, I think especially, if, maybe if you're on current gen, maybe not, but if you're on next gen, I'm telling you, Clyde Drexler is someone you should definitely look to pick up because for 5,000 MT, he is god tier. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.